due to some technical difficulties, <laughs> we're going to try doing Music Monday a second time today. So we're a little late, but welcome again to the Fine Arts Department. I'm Megan. I'm Sean. And Sean is actually going to take us through some uh, music books, some new music books that are here in the department. So what do you have to show us? Okay. So we've got quite a, quite a good music section, up in music book selection up in Fine Arts. We've got a larger collection, sort of in with the rest of our regular collection. Then we've got this dedicated new item collection as well. Almost a display, one would say, of new books. One could say that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, you'll find the entire 700 Dewey range in our new book section as well. Mm -hmm. And a big chunk of that right now is actually um, new music books. Oh. So the 780 Dewey range, as a matter of fact. Now you know, Dewey number, 780. <laughs> Very useful. Kind of some educational aspect. Yay. Yeah. So, um, so we've got, we've got you know, a, good, a good mix of sort of like super new music books. Um, and then some, we've got some new classics as well, so new to us, but maybe not quite as new to the rest of the world. Um, Hammer of the Gods by Led Zeppelin. Revolution in the Head oh, about the Beatles. Okay. <clears throat> Here's a classic, No One Gets Out of Here Alive about the Doors. So we've got... Um, you know, we've got music bios, we've got um, music criticism, we've got um, manuals, how-tos, um, we've got sheet music as well. So it kind of runs the gamut of, of, you know, whatever you can do with music. Cool. Um, I just, I'm going to pick a few from the collection and yeah. talk about those. You have a nice pile here of yes. uh, a couple ones that you can show us, so... Yeah. So the first one you can hold that. Um, I just want to mention is the first collection of criticism by a living female rock critic by Jessica Hopper. Is it actually the first collection of criticism by a female? Probably not. Rock critic. <laughs> okay. But I think she's. I think the book itself is a little cheeky at times. Oh, okay. Cool. And I gotcha. the title's also a little cheeky. Um, so um, Jessica Hopper has been a music critic for, I don't know, going on 20 years now. She was part of the original Riot Girl scene. Um, really interesting writing from a feminist perspective about music. Um, there's articles about Hole, articles about yeah. R. Kelly. Courtney Love, I just, right there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, she covers a lot of ground. Um, so this is pretty new, 2016. I'm excited to get into it. I think I might take it home this weekend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, this is another new one. It's called Future Days, Kraut Rock, and the Birth of a Revolutionary New Music by David Stubbs. David Stubbs. I think this one is 2015 or 16. David Stubbs is a music critic for The Guardian, I believe. Oh. And so, as the title suggests, this is about Krautrock. So Krautrock is a German rock music, kind of, it's kind of loose, loose rock genre, um, kind of cropped up in the 60s um, in the post-World War II generation. So um, we've got the socio-political background of denazification, oh, okay. um, the youth kind of rebelling against right. their parents and um, the cultural, very interesting past. Yeah, the whole yes. cultural uh, milieu that I guess gave birth to something called kraut rock, which I did not know was a thing. Yeah. But that's great. Yeah, it's an incredible scene. Lots of amazing bands. Um, okay. You might know Kraftwerk, Tangerine Dream, there's Can, there's Noi, there's um, Cluster, um, Michael Rother. Like, a lot of great bands that actually influenced um, rock music in general. Oh, okay. Um, influenced uh, Bowie. Um, 
in his Berlin period influenced Iggy Pop. Makes sense. Influenced Farnino. So it's a little known subgenre um, that has this huge influence on rock music. Very cool. So you uh, can take that out and learn more about kraut rock. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up, a photography book about the Smiths. So um, I believe this is largely live photography um, by um, Melanie Darmon. So um, I'm sure a lot of you know who the Smiths are. The Smiths are one of my favorite bands. Nice. A little biased here, but this is a beautiful book. Um, a lot of great um, live photography, um, some great um, written introductions as well by um, the photographer by Andy Bell from Ride, by a few others as well. Yeah. Get to see some shirtless <laughs> some Morrissey. Shirts, some shirtless Morrissey. Great. Andy Rourke by a Pillar. Yeah. Oh, cool. There you go. Yeah, the Smiths. Some Smiths photography. Okay, next up. We have the new autobiography from Lowell Tolhurst, one of the founding members of Here, pictured here with Robert Smith. Um, this is quite new, I think um, late 2016. Um, I think Lowell, was, he was a founding member, but he's come and gone over the years. And mm, he's, okay. finally, he's finally released his autobiography. I don't think Robert Smith has released his autobiography yet, so that will be quite the read when it comes out. Shout out to Robert Smith. <laughs> Get on it. We want to read your autobiography. Yeah, Robert Smith. We know you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We should probably tag Robert Smith. Yeah, no, I am going to do that yeah. for sure. I'm just calling you out. <laughs> this okay. will give him the impetus to finally write his autobiography. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he can write about us now. Most likely, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and what's this? Next up, we have Total Chaos. So this is this is a a really cool book. I've dipped into it a bit myself. Um, it's kind of a collection. It's kind of a photo photography book. Um, it's it kind of it's like a it's got a collection of um, Stooges um, memorabilia, so posters, ticket stubs, okay. old Polaroid photos. Um, Contracts with Elektra Records, um, some correspondence. So it's, it's it's this really beautiful book with um, all this memorabilia, and kind of running through it is this long form interview between the author Jeff Gould and Iggy Pop. So very illuminating conversation. Okay. It's a Stooges old house, Stooges fun house. Ah, Stooge Manor. <laughs> Stooge Manor. That's amazing. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay. And Iggy Pop is a really intelligent man, actually. He's a wild man, but he's, he's got his wits about him. Yeah. And so an interesting read, as well as all of the marginalia, memorabilia that's in there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you're a Stooges fan, you're going to really, really love this book. Perfect. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I love it. Okay, um, next up, speaking of how-to's, um, books on how to make instruments, how to um, play your instrument, we've got the, the uh, Bible of guitar making, called Guitar Making, Tradition and Technology. So this is, this is an older book, I think this is like late 80s or early 90s, but it's new to us. Okay. Um, I think it's kind of your one-stop shop for guitar making. Why mess with a good thing? Yeah, exactly. If yeah. it's a good book, you're just going to republish it. So it's if you were useful. thinking about making a guitar, we've got all the tools you need. Well, aside from the actual tools. We've got oh. the written tools. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. Okay. And, okay, so sheet music. Um, we've got, so we've got, like, tablature. We've got, um some books by John Fahey, so okay. um, How to Play American Primitive Guitar. So we've got actual sheet music, traditional music, and then we've got tablature. I 
think this veers into the actual sheet music realm. Um, sheet music for the classic Coen Brothers film and soundtrack, Coen Brothers, where art thou? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the basics of singing as well. Okay. So if you're not sure where to start or if you're looking for something to, to browse sheet music, this is a good place to come if you don't know exactly what you're looking for. So yeah. Yeah, we've got a nice selection. We've actually got right behind us here, we've got a huge, in, well in front of us, I guess. We've got a huge sheet music collection. Um, oh, okay. Absolutely massive, actually. Yeah. So. You guys can't see it, but there's a lot. There's a lot there. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. okay, and finally, um, so we don't, um, graphic novels aren't technically um, our, our forte in fine arts, but we do house them up here, um, and we do have some music graphic novels as well. This one's new to us. It's a uh, Glenn Gould biography, A Life Off Tempo. It looks, looks really beautiful, actually. Yeah. So I think... I think Megan's going to take this one home. Yeah, this one's my favorite, and also my style inspiration for today. Yeah. Very Glenn Gould inspired. More fashion tips in here, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. It's mine. Okay, and is there anything else happening in fine arts that you mm. want to talk about? I am just going to mention quickly um, our Wednesday Night Music Club. Our next one is coming up next Wednesday. March 15th. March 15th, okay. 6.30 to 8.30, and we're going to be listening to Hayden's 96, I believe, album, Everything I Long For. It's his first album. Okay. Um, so we set up a stereo in the gallery. We make some coffee. There might be some cookies. Excellent. Set up a projector and a screen and watch videos as well, if the artist has videos, and I know Hayden has quite a few. Um, and you guys are focusing on Canadian content with the Music Club this year. Yeah. Is this, that right? Yeah, this year is um, CanCon, our CanCon edition. So we um, have listened to Mary Margaret O'Hara's album. Okay. Next up is Joel Plaskett. Um, in the summer, we have Feist coming up. We have Daniel Ann Moss um, and a lot of others. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like fun. And uh, yeah, that's Music Monday. So hopefully we'll we'll do this again. Not hopefully, we'll be doing this again next Monday. So we'll see you then for more new music stuff in the fine arts department. Bye guys.